So what exactly is the 333 rule and why do you care? So get ready for one more rule of thumb in the RV life and you're going to want to stick around because that's exactly what we're talking about on this episode of the North. So one of the first things that we quickly realized when we first started RVing is that travel days in an RV are quite different than just jumping in the car on that 500 mile trip to that would-be destination. Now I realize that everyone travels a little bit differently, but I hope that this video can help make your travel days a little less stressful and a whole lot more enjoyable. But before we jump right into things, I ask that you take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and set that bell to all so you get notified of more videos on RV travel, tips, tricks, and everything else RVing. We greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel as well as all your likes and comments as it helps the RV community see more of our videos. Before we bought an RV, we didn't really think much of just jumping in the car and going on a five hour trip. With more than 30 years driving experience and the occasional adventure, I thought I didn't really have a lot to learn. Boy, was I wrong. RVs are much different vehicles than just driving your everyday car. They always seem to have a way of coaxing you into a more relaxed, easygoing attitude or at least that's the way it's supposed to be. But I quickly realized that the distance I could travel in five hours of driving suddenly wasn't as achievable with, with an RV. The first thing to take into consideration is speed. When taking off to a destination in the car, we can easily travel along at speeds of 75 miles an hour, depending on the speed limit. Although when towing an RV, most trailer tires are only rated for 65 miles an hour, and driving faster than that can be potentially unsafe and it becomes typically just exhausting for the driver. Driving an RV at a more relaxed 60 miles an hour does save a few miles of the gallon when it comes to the tank, but you might find yourself stopping for a little scenic look here and there. And then there's stops for fuel, bathroom breaks, and food. Suddenly you find yourself traveling at a much slower pace than you ever thought. Sure, you can drive longer, take fewer stops, and there's times you just have to do that to be able to reach your destination but I would have never realized the additional stress of towing a 10 or 20,000 pound trailer can add to your travel day. This is where the 3-3 rule of RV travel can help make your travel days less stressful and more enjoyable for the whole family. The first three of the rule is to limit your driving to 300 miles in a day. Driving 300 miles in a day is a good stopping point so that you don't get burned out when driving. With all your stops along the way, 300 miles can easily be six or more hours on the road. At that point, it's time to get off the road and call it a day. The second part of the 333 rule is to not to drive more than three hours in any given stretch. I actually suggest breaking this down even smaller in about one and a half hours between your stops. You can actually use that time to refuel, stretch your legs, and just take a little break before you get back on the road. Taking these little breaks will help you keep focused while you're driving on the road. And the stress of driving won't have such a toll on your body and your mind. Part three of the rule is to make sure that you arrive at your destination no later than 3 p.m. Following this rule will make sure that you get up in the morning, get an early start, and get off the road before evening traffic. It'll also allow for things that may delay your arrival and make sure that you reach your destination before dark. No one likes parking an RV in the dark. Been there, done that, don't advise it. As a bonus three to the rule, try to stay at your destination for at least three days. This will allow your body to refresh, unwind, and you might even have a little time to explore the local area. We have a beautiful country. Take time to explore it. So I hope this helps explain the 333 rule for you and that if you implement this into your travel days, hopefully it makes your days a whole lot less stressful. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up if you found any of this information helpful. Also, if you have any comments or tips about travel days, make sure you drop them in the comments down below and become part of the conversation. And until next time, if we don't catch you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.